So I know this video is a little bit different than our normal videos, but I thought it was important to make because my family was actually affected by the coronavirus and my mom was diagnosed with it. It's hard to find what the virus is really like for actual people rather than just like whatever the news is putting out or sometimes you can find like a short video someone's made in the hospital or something about their experience. But my mom and I decided it would probably be good if she could kind of vlog her experience, what her days were like, how she was feeling, how long it's been that she's had it and things like that so you can really understand how it affects someone. I think since how the virus affects people and what their symptoms are isn't shown a lot in the media, like what it's truly like. People are kind of taking it lightly and thinking, oh, it's not really that bad or it's not gonna affect me or it's not gonna affect my family members. But I'm hoping this video can actually give you a little insight into what it's like if you are actually diagnosed with the coronavirus. We are almost positive my mom contracted the virus from work. I'm not gonna say what type of place she works in or what her actual job is just for privacy reasons, but if you just watch and pay attention, you can probably figure out what type of job she has and where she got it from. So now I'm just gonna let all of her vlogs play and if you have any questions for me, just put them in the comments down below and I'll try to answer them or I can ask her if she has the answers for them. Also, I was originally planning to add some stuff in the beginning of this video about like how Japan is dealing with the virus and what it's like here and you know, the 2020 Olympics were canceled so there's a lot happening, but I decided since the video is already gonna be long enough that next week I'll just do more of a Japan focused video. So if you have any questions about that as well or have anything to add you'd like me to look into or touch on, please let me know about that as well. So now on to my mom's story. So I'm on day two of my suspected coronavirus. <coughs> I woke up yesterday morning around midnight and with a fever just of like 100.7. So yesterday I, um, I slept for almost six hours. Um, my temperature um, got up to 102.6 yesterday was the highest it got. That was really the only symptom I had. I mean, I felt like I had a little, sort of, I would say like a scratchy throat. And then this morning I woke, when I woke up, I, my temperature was still, was 100.8. And I felt like I had more like gurgly mucus here. So I did call, um, uh, the local hospital has a COVID-19 help hotline. And, uh, I told them my symptoms and they recommended I get tested so I called my family doctor and they um, spoke to on call and they entered an order and um, then I drove up to the lab which I wish I could have taken a picture of the lab technician coming out in a whole respirator and a whole contact isolation with a gown and gloves so she swabbed me and sent me on my way didn't get out of the car of course um, so now it's the end of my second day yesterday wouldn't be able to do anything like this because I just felt so terrible and fatigued um, during the night last night I like I did not eat enough yesterday or the day before and so I was just super weak just felt like I was gonna faint every time I was tried to get up and go to the bathroom but today I've been eating something um, at every meal time at least and definitely trying to drink enough water this is my setup <coughs> this is my life I've got my <coughs> chair and my bed and my thermometer and paper and tissues and so I'm thankful that I'm uh, my I don't have a temperature tonight it was just 98.2 I'm definitely coughing a little bit more but it certainly is a dry cough um, from what I've read about other people's experiences you know day three might be worse so um, sort of see how that goes I have been doing things like Prior to this, for at least a month, um, I've been taking like a thousand milligrams of vitamin C every day and I've been taking black seed oil at least once or twice a day, a teaspoon of it every day just to try to um, reduce my risk of getting ill. Um, so obviously it didn't stop me from getting the, well, possibly getting the virus. I won't know for six or seven days whether it's, I even tested positive, which I find unbelievable in this day and age here, but I've also been doing a lot of things, those kinds of things to help me. And then I've also, I have a diathermy, which is a deep heat machine, which I was using sort of on my face and throat to see if I could um, 
it could help clear up the mucus. And then I also have like an infrared sauna tent, so I've been using that. So I am trying things that um, not everybody has, you know, at home. I guess we'll see um, what tomorrow brings. Hopefully, hopefully it's better, and hopefully the things I've been doing, you know, are helping me to not to get better quickly or recover. So here's hoping to I sleep well tonight. Well, it's day three of my suspected coronavirus. I've been quarantined in my room. I did walk out onto the deck uh, with my mask and gloves through the room, through the house, and I, I just like did some laps on the deck outside and sat outside for a few minutes, even though it was like 30 degrees out, just at least to get a little sun on my face and some fresh air. So I slept well. My temperature was 97.2 this morning. I haven't taken again this evening, but around at 2 it was, you know, 98.2 or something like that. So normal. The only symptom I really have is that dry cough that sort of just catches you. I don't really feel like I'm very mucousy at all. Happy that I seem to be progressing really well. Um, I think I'm doing a lot better compared to some of the other people that I've seen posted, like, um, some people seem to have start with a productive cough and, you know, coughing up sputum and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that I'm, I'm getting better. I feel like I am. I've been eating well, drinking well. I tried to take a nap today and I couldn't even fall asleep. So I think I've been getting enough rest. I'm going stir crazy in the, in the room because it's not easy to be here. And I had to do something for work and like, something on the laptop and then respond to complete a form and like I've sort of felt like my brain was fuzzy I couldn't like figure it out how to send an attachment to my email and I don't know and then Jeff was getting all like upset with me I think that I couldn't figure out how to use a computer so anyway I don't know if I'm not quite all there yet I, I think I am but you know I haven't been tested a lot I'm basically I sit I sleep I read I watch TV, I talk on the phone, and I haven't even done my crossword puzzles yet. I'm hoping that uh, tomorrow will be an even better day, and that maybe tomorrow I won't even have a cough. I wish I could get my test results sooner than six to seven days. I think that's what they said, so, I mean, I almost sort of hope I have it, because I w hope that I have it and that I, that I beat it, you know? So, I've never taken any um, Tylenol or done anything to for fever reducing and you know I've kept up with my black seed oil and my vitamin C and my diathermy and um, resting and eating mostly good food I had three starbursts tonight um, after I had my vegetable soup that was my um, my indulgence today so anyway I'll check in with you tomorrow and hopefully I'll be even better so it's day four. It's in the morning. Um, last night I, my fever came back. It was just a hundred. It was like a hundred point four or something during the night, but I have like got a headache back. It's, it's a terrible headache. It's just right here. I mean, I slept okay. Got up a couple times, just freezing. I mean, I have a long sleeve nightgown on and sweatpants, and then I have a sweatshirt on too, and I have like four layers of blankets. One of them is including a heavy down comforter and I wouldn't wish this on anyone because this is pretty rough. I was a lot happier with how I was doing yesterday and a little touch. Anyway, I guess I'll keep resting and hope that tomorrow is better than today. I went to the bathroom right when I got up and I was so weak I felt like I was just gonna faint. I think, um, I mean, I'm trying to eat enough, but the fever is burning up my calories, so I probably need to be eating more, even though I'm not hungry. I'll talk to you later. Today, um, all I did was sleep. Um, my temperature is up to 102.6. Um, seriously, all day today, I just got up to go to the bathroom. I ate, drank water, took a shower this morning. And slept. I probably slept um, five hours during the day today. I'm so chilled. I have trouble getting warm even though I have like two hot water bottles. I have like, it feels like 10 pounds of blankets on me. I was so uh, 
encouraged yesterday because I didn't have a fever all day. And then it started last night and then it's just gotten worse today. I am sort of old school. I've always believed that if you have a fever, you should let it run its course. It's the body's way of trying to fight infection and it's not gotten over 102.6. This is really horrible. It's a, it's a horrible virus. I mean, I'm healthy, typically. I mean, I had my gallbladder removed last month, but other than that, I don't have any chronic health problems. My vitamin <coughs> D level is optimal. Um, I exercise, I typically eat good food, and I mean, this is just kicking my butt. I am just gonna call my doctor tomorrow. I just wanna make sure they know that I was tested. I am be 99% sure that I'm positive, and just to make sure I'm not missing anything. I mean, I can see how it'd be so easy not to eat or drink, because I do not want to eat or drink. And if you were elderly and you didn't have that drive, you'd go downhill really fast because I've already lost a couple pounds and I um, really can't afford to lose that. Well, my husband's been awesome. He's so good. He brings me all my food and sets it out beside my door and picks up my dirty dishes and heats up the water for my hot water bottles and fills up my water bottle. You know, we try to maintain a six foot uh, distance at all times. So I'm just praying he doesn't get it. I mean, he feels a little achy right now, but I don't know. Friday will be 14 days from my exposure, so I'm hoping um, being today's Monday night. I'll check in with you tomorrow. Well, I'm on day five. So yesterday I slept all day. Last night I slept from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. I mean 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. Um, when I woke up this morning, I, I still had a temperature of about a, just 100. I still just have a horrible headache right here. Just, you know, if I go like that, I just, I just feel like I get a knife through my head. My fever's um, been is no low, lower than 100, and it's been up to 101.2 right now. I feel like more hungry today actually wanted to eat something. And I even had a hankering to have a KFC, so Jeff went out and I had a piece of chicken and mashed potatoes, coleslaw, and some of a roll, and that, like, that was a huge meal for me. One of my bigger problems right now is just like my low back and my hips are just like killing me. I think it's just because I'm like not moving. I mean, I'm used to, I'm a very active person, you know, at work I walk a minimum of 10,000 steps a day and I'm sitting on pillows. It still just hurts me to sit. It hurts more to sit than it does to lay down. But so I'm trying to change my position every hour. I <laughs> sound like need to be turned every two hours. The uh, COVID-19 hotline called to check up on me today. Um, I just reported my symptoms. They said my doctor will notify me when my results are available. Right now it's still taking at least a week. So that won't be till Saturday and today's Tuesday. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just miserable. Everything hurts. I am so tired of watching TV. You think, oh, oh nice, you can watch whatever you want anytime you want. It's like, oh, there is nothing on. I'd been so hopeful when I had that great day on Saturday or Sunday, and now I've had regression. So anyway, tomorrow's a new day. Hope I can beat this thing sooner than later. I never imagined that I would be doing this on um, day six of my uh, suspected coronavirus still have a fever, although it was like 99.5 this morning, 100.7 at 2. I haven't checked it again now. I have like a terrible headache, which I've had nonstop. Something that's bothering me almost as much as a headache is that my body is so sore. My like hips hurt and my low back just because I'm not moving and it's just, it's almost unbearable. I don't know when this is going to be over. It's really unimaginable, although I'm living it, I'm getting sort of depressed because, um, you know, I know, I don't know when it's going to be over. I sort of, I'm going to release or reduce the strictness of my quarantine right now. I mean, we've been doing it for six days now. And Jeff has like, he's like a cold, which he's had symptoms for quite a while. So I, we don't know if that's his coronavirus. 
I mean, I'm still going to maintain six feet away, but I've got to be able to sit downstairs, like sit in the family room or something and watch TV or do something from a different position rather than sitting in a chair in my room or laying in bed flat on my back. So I'm looking forward to that tonight. It's like exciting. I'm not really coughing. This tiny little cough. I have no respiratory issues really. I have my window open because it's so beautiful. So I'm hopeful every day. I hope that tomorrow will be better. I'd say really not, not a lot of changes. I'm still just as bad. I guess I'm just thankful I'm not worse, but I'm just wondering when I'll turn the corner. Will be tomorrow. Well, this is um, day seven, finishing my day seven. Fever, 101 this morning. Today's been a really hard day. I've broken down a number of times just crying. I'm like, it's really hard to explain what this does to you. Like, your whole body is just exhausted because all you're doing is having a f constant fever. I'm sleeping all night and, you know, hours during the day, forcing myself to eat and drink. And just this morning, I mean, I when I woke up, I, I knew I still had a fever and a headache and I don't know. There's something about it just it's getting to me today. I mean, I... I'm about as good as you can get it. I mean, my husband's wonderful. I have a comfy, comfy bed and chair and clean clothes, and I don't have to worry. I mean, I'm not working, but I have PTO, and, you know, so I have a lot to be thankful for. It could be a lot worse, but I'm just worn down. I think one of the things that, one of the also things that was terrible today, I had the, just like the, worse pain in like my butt on either side. I felt like I had uh, pressure areas on my ischial tuberosities. I was like laying in bed on my side and I just felt like there was an anvil digging in on either side of my butt. I do not know what that was from. I So I laid, I could not get comfortable in any position. So at one o'clock I took my first dose of Tylenol, which is the first Tylenol I've taken since since I've been ill. Thank God it worked. Maybe tomorrow will be the day my fever breaks. This afternoon when I took a nap, I just, you know, woke up just all like a sweaty mess. So, I don't know. I'm hoping something will break this fever cycle. I was hoping to brighter days tomorrow. Well, this is um, day nine for me. I didn't I didn't vlog yesterday. So day eight, I felt, I literally felt like I was going to die. I just kept telling Jeff, something's wrong and something is really wrong. And I just felt super, if it was possible to feel weaker, I felt weaker. Like I just felt like my, I had no blood pressure, like I couldn't even hardly walk. I did end up going to the ER. They treated me really well there. Ran all kinds of, you know, labs. The thing that, um, I had a CT of my chest and it showed the, um, so for COVID-19, the whole, one of the hallmarks of it is this, a uh, ground glass infiltrates in your lungs. So I have that. I have ground glass infiltrates, infiltrates in my bilateral lower lungs. I mean, I'm sure my swab will be positive, but that is another um, positive and then the doctor had to notify the State Department of Health. So the doctor was really nice. Um, she said my labs were mostly good. She said, you're obviously doing a good job eating and drinking. I said, I mean, Jeff has just been forcing me to eat and drink. I have not wanted to do, I don't want to eat or drink anything. And um, she said she would admit me, but she would let me decide. So. Since uh, my electrolytes were all pretty good, and um, she said, this might be, you might have a few more, you might have another five days of this, which I can't even imagine. So, came home last night. Today, my temperature's still 100 point something, but um, I think I'm, 
I'm cautiously optimistic. I think I feel better. I know I feel better today than I did yesterday. I've been drinking Carnation Instant Breakfasts, and today, when Jeff asked me what I wanted for dinner, I said, baked spaghetti, which I've never, never wanted to have baked spaghetti ever, but he went and got it for me, and I ate, like, half of it, which is, like, a lot for me, and actually tasted good. Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. At some point, it has to be done. Check in with you later. So on day 10, uh, my fever, uh, it stopped. So it, today's day 13. I, I haven't had a fever since day 10. And I'm definitely better. The first day I was like, oh, give me food. I want to eat. And then yesterday I just felt like I had a pretty big relapse. I didn't want to eat anything. Nothing tasted good. My whole body hurt. I couldn't even, last night I couldn't even fall asleep. I had to get up and take some Tylenol because just my hips hurt, my low back hurt. So today was a better day. I actually cleaned my room today, cleaned my bathroom. I mean, that's the most activity I've done since I was ill. I'm thankful that I had the energy to do that. Actually, a work called and said, since I'd be 72 hours fever free, I can come back to work. I'm like, I don't think you <laughs> understand what happened to me. I had a fever for nine straight days. I hardly ate anything, lost a lot of weight. I mean, it's going to take me a long time to recover. So luckily my doctor um, called my doctor and he wrote a note saying I can go back on um, April 15th. So that gives me um, two weeks from today to recover. Thank goodness. I think it'll just be a slow recovery. I mean, there's no one can't tell you sort of what the COVID-19 does to your body long term and, you know, what my lung function, if my lungs will go back to normal eventually and not have that ground glass infiltrates. I mean, I'm going to assume my sort of dry cough will stop at some point. So, I mean, I have a, a lot to be thankful for. I'm I mean, a lot of people didn't didn't make it through this, so I am really thankful and um, willing to put in there the work I need to get my strength back, but thankful for all those people along that were thinking of me and praying for me, and I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. So stay safe, everybody. Stay home. Wash your hands. This is really no joke.